Welcome back to my channel you guys as you can tell I'm gonna be showing you all the places I ate in Nigeria because I'm trying to get a big bag baby <laughs> just kidding so the first place not the first but one of the places I went to was called Elisi um so this is located on Victoria Island so I was staying on Ekoyi Island so I took a bridge to get to this island like, I don't know but the place is looking pretty cute nice and spacious and I didn't get a really good shot of the entire restaurant but this is pretty much all of it as you can see here so after we made our order they gave us complimentary buns which I busted down they were delicious and I ordered for myself this starter this is the dynamite shrimp and I'm also listing the prices for you all so you can see you know the comparables and my partner had the lobster bisque okay so this is me getting my first bite in i'm tasting it because i really want to take girls and boys huh. this was delicious and the serving size was really good so on the plate it came with like i don't know what the fries are called when they're so thin look at me guys i'm having the time of my life because this thing is delicious oh my god i wish i could relive this moment I'm so glad that Bop Bop is too young to understand how delicious this food is because I was not trying to share. But anyways, back to the plate. I had these super thin fries, which were also delicious. And I have to tell you something. Coleslaw in Ghana, they don't know what coleslaw is. I'm sorry, I'm not being mean. But like here in Ghana, coleslaw is like mayo and cabbage when really it's like so much more so the coleslaw at this restaurant was real coleslaw like with sugar and other ingredients in the um mixture it was really good now i'm going to try this lobster bisque so i i don't even know if i've ever had a lobster bisque come to think of it but this was as the kids say bussing that's what the kids say naomi and jordan <laughs> it was bussing it was really good and the lobster pieces in there were pretty sizable and i think for the price um i felt good about this one it was about um nine thousand naira and i think that's about eight dollars or so look at that lobster piece it was giving it was giving delicious so um yeah i ate that up as well honestly after that shrimp and this i was actually like kind of getting full I really did not need to order this. <laughs> so this is a spicy grilled sea bass, which was also splendid. The mashed, ma the mashed potatoes were very smooth and creamy. The fish was enormous. Honestly, this is all I could have eaten and I would have been fine because the serving size was so big. The sauce was very, very delicious. The vegetables were cooked to perfection. Listen to me like a real like food critic, LOL. But it was really, really good. And like after this, I was seriously full. Like if I had no one to share with, I would have definitely packed some to go. Delicious. Highly recommend. I really liked it. Um, it did have bones in it, but you know, some fish comes with bones. So I had to just be careful to pick out the little bones. But other than that, it was, oops, see, there's a bone. It was stupendous. I loved it. Mm -hmm. it was so hot as well <laughs> but i'm just so greedy <laughs> okay moving on now for my non-alcoholic beverage yeah guys i got the kiwi lemonade which was delicious it's been a long time since i've seen a kiwi and then there's this um, other drink. It's super alcoholic, but this is me tasting my kiwi lemonade. It was so gosh darn delicious. And there was kiwi inside, which I ate. I ate all the kiwi. And then there's this one, oh my God, in this like skull glass cup, which means danger. Because when I tasted it, the amount of alcohol was like, I don't know if it's because I haven't had alcohol in a long time, but it was quite strong. But hey, some people love that. And then we also got a complimentary dessert, which was so thoughtful. And you know, I waxed that, like I ate that whole thing up, like, but I'm gonna give my overall experience at Elysium an eight out of 10. Yeah. Now I'm at 
this brunch spot called cafeteria it's like 11 a.m so every place that i'm going to i've thoroughly researched on instagram and looked at all the pictures of how delicious the food looks and that's how i made my choice <laughs> but this cafe is super cute it's not really 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 big and i say that to say it's like always full anytime i've been there anyway i got the pineapple coconut mango um smoothie which was delicious I'm trying to you know be a little bit clean here you know and i even let bop bop taste it and he was loving it now i ordered a salad because i'm just trying to find a balance between good eating and naughty eating <laughs> but let's get naughty because i got this prawn and waffles and then i also got this french toast berry bliss which was busting so you see how my 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 thing is balanced with a little bit of green and then a little bit of or not a little bit a lot of bit of like bread and stuff anyway if you see me dancing that's how you know it's delicious so the salad was good i really appreciated the avocado on that salad and guess what the salad was also um iceberg lettuce i haven't had iceberg lettuce in three years so i really appreciated that iceberg lettuce y'all i'm telling y'all Anyway, I'm eating this French toast with the berry um, mixture on it. It's like berry mixed with, I don't know if it's ricotta cheese or something, but it's really delicious. As you can see, I am not even breathing. And I even came back the next evening, like tomorrow, like the day after. This is the chicken and waffles. So earlier I had prawn and waffles. So um, I'm just trying to grow this back, y'all. I'm trying to get a nice big bag. <laughs> Why? Because I'm in Nigeria. <laughs> I am just taking advantage of being in Nigeria and an excuse to eat, to eat crazy, eat crazy. But this was delicious and I love that. I am killing myself because I'm dancing. I'm laughing at myself. Who dances still? Did you guys used to dance when you were kids and you ate something delicious? Comment down below. And of course, I had to wash it all down with this milkshake, which was also bussin. Look, guys, I never eat like this. Literally, I just thought that I should take the opportunity to, to do that in Nigeria. <laughs> and I had to try their burger. I had to try this because, well, you already know. So I got the classic cheeseburger. It was I. Okay, I'm kidding, guys. It was delicious. It was a really good burger. It was very good. So good, I didn't even realize that it was all over my face. LOL. <laughs> and I was dancing, so you already know. But it was a really good burger. And, of course, I had to wash that all down. This is a bubble tea. I think I got strawberry with passion fruit poppin' boba and regular boba. So this was also very yummy. I mean, not as good as mine uh, in, in Ghana, but it was still pretty good. So overall, I give Cafeteria a 9.5 out of 10. Now we are at Slice, and this is a really nice restaurant for like a date night, or if you want to be a little bit fancy and dress up, which I was not dressed up at all. I should have worn something so much cuter, but it's fine. So um, this is what it looks like on the outside. There's this really beautiful um, tunnel green thing, which would be spectacular for photos. Like it's so long, look how long. <laughs> I'm walking forever. This is like fast forward. So imagine it took me forever to walk that whole corridor, but it was cute. So uh, we inside now, again, ambiance, super beautiful. It's cool, like really nice place. Really, I really like what they've done with the place. And I forgot to go upstairs. The upstairs is really, really cute. I saw online somewhere. So, um, yeah, you might have to look it up. So the first thing we ordered was this guacamole. And I actually could not believe how delicious it was. I didn't know guacamole could be this delicious. I mean, I could have ordered like four of these and be fine. Like I actually wanted like two of these it was so delicious oh my goodness look at me oh my god look at if you see me acting like this that's how you know the food look at me girls and boys like what's going on so so good 
Now I ordered this stuffed lobster. I'm honestly trying to recall the names and the prices because I can't find the menu on a line anywhere. So yeah. Anyway, so this is the stuffed prawn. Also super delicious. It was busing. Next, we ordered this mini burger trio. So one was chicken, one was shrimp, and one was lamb. So you know, I'm in the burger business, so I had to try these burgers out. So this was the chicken burger. This one was okay. This is the shrimp burger, which I liked a lot. One of my shrimps fell out. <laughs> so this one was good. And then the last, oh my God, I'm so messy, girl. And then the last one I tried was this pulled lamb burger, which I think was my favorite one. Looks, look at that, it's so juicy and yummy, oh, so delicious. Yeah, this one was my favorite one of the three. Yeah. And then next we ordered this milkshake, an Oreo milkshake which was okay it was okay um it wasn't like super duper duper thick but it was the right consistency for a milkshake but maybe i just like my milkshakes super thick but is this is exactly what a milkshake is supposed to be like so it's just my personal preference but it was good also my camera is recording in slow motion for some reason <laughs> Anyhow, I got these pineapple um, steam bun taco taco things. <laughs> I don't know what they're called, guys. I'm guessing the names. So it's like crispy chicken bites tossed in like a pineapple sauce in between these steamed buns. So it's like an Asian inspiration. Also delicious. What's it called, Naomi? It's called Bao. It's called Bao. Naomi said it's called Bao Bao, guys. That's what she said. And I also ordered the mac and cheese, which was pretty cheesy. And that was also pretty good. So I'm going to give Slice 8.5 out of 10 for food, value, quality, and customer service. So 8.5 out of 10, y'all. So this is the end of my adventure for now. I have part two coming because, what, you guys thought I only ate at four restaurants or three? Nah. <laughs> so I'm going to be back very soon with another restaurant review and i'll see you guys next time love you uh, bye bye